Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and this is a Nature at Your Door on the road episode. And I'm on the road in Ticino, Switzerland. This is the Italian-speaking canton, one of the southernmost cantons of, of Switzerland. We're in the border of Italy and in the area of the northern Italian Lake District. In fact, we're here on Lago di Lugano. This episode is about looking at invasive species that are here in Switzerland and perhaps giving us a more global perspective on invasive species. When I'm in the USA and I do some episodes on things like Japanese honeysuckle or stink bugs or Chinese privet, I get some negative feedback, some kind of snarky comments about, oh yeah, here's another invasive species from China that's almost uh, a little bit inappropriate, I think. So another way to look at this is to understand that invasive species is a global thing. It's just not things coming into the U.S. In fact, right here are two very, very invasive species. that are very disturbing to the Swiss agriculture, um, road maintenance and maintenance of open areas, and it just takes over. And the two invasive species here are black locust and pokeweed, both of which come from the Appalachian Mountains, where I reside and film most of my episodes. So stay tuned and let's take a look at these invasive species from America here in southern Switzerland. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. This is American pokeweed. This is from the United States. This is a plant that's invasive here in Switzerland, not a part of its natural ecology, and it has toxic properties. And so it's really not welcome here in Switzerland, and especially in pastures with livestock. You can see this whole hillside is practically covered with pokeweed, as well as black locust. All of these are invasive species that came from America. Here you can see our Appalachian origin black locust growing rampant along this trail and on the roadside. You can see the classic compound leaves and the paired thorns which confirms their identification as a black locust from the USA. It grows everywhere on roadsides in Switzerland, crowding out native Swiss species, taking over views, and requiring constant cutting back by road crews. It invades vineyards and agricultural fields, completely taking them over if they're not aggressively controlled. So the trail opened up to this soccer field, and I just can't help but to notice that it's completely ringed with black locust trees. And uh, I just stopped and talked to a local and they're like, yeah, those black locusts, they'll just completely take over. They'll, you can have an open field and it will just completely overgrow and it's so hard to remove. But there are more American species than this here in Switzerland. The North American crayfish species was first documented in the 1970s now dominates in most major lakes and streams across Switzerland and is a huge risk to the diversity and native species of Switzerland. Prickly pear cactus from North America is spreading into alpine valleys as climate changes causes drying. Imagine seeing western prickly pear in Switzerland. Right here in Lugano Lake in Ticino Largemouth bass are invasive, and now they're seeking their, their extrapidation from the lakes here. Elsewhere across Europe, American bullfrogs are eating their way through native species and habitats. American raccoons were introduced in Germany for their fur in the 1930s and have long since escaped, and now have proliferated across almost all of Europe. So the point I'm trying to make here 
is that in the USA, we often point our finger accusingly at China as a source of all our invasive species problems. But invasive species are a global problem. It's not just a problem here in the US. And many of our own native USA species are highly invasive in other countries. So I hope this video has given you a little more perspective on the global view of invasive species. It's a two-way street. And by seeing it here in Switzerland, seeing our USA species in such a quaint and charming place, and how many of our native species are horribly invasive here in Switzerland, I hope you understand that invasive species is a global phenomenon and there's species mixing in all directions from all different countries. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nature at Your Door from Southern Switzerland. And I hope I was able to give you something to think about, maybe a little bit different perspective about invasive species and how it's a really global thing and how we're seeing this kind of new global succession thanks to a movement of human beings and our things and transport of everything that has spread rapidly these organisms. If you like what I do on my channel, please subscribe, give me a like, and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers. And check out my playlists. I have over 200 different videos now on all sorts of different uh, species of plants and animals and fungi and insects. I think you might find something there you'd be interested in learning about. Thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.